Hi, today we are going to install in-sink creator garbage disposal unit. Here you see the structure of pipes under the kitchen sink. We will start by removing the structure. It's pretty simple, just unscrew and then as shown in the picture and then start by unscrewing this slip nut. It's very simple. There may be two or three slip nuts to unscrew and then you'll find the whole piping just comes out just like this in your hand. It's, uh, it's very, very easy. Next, you'll start unscrewing the strainer basket. As soon as you start unscrewing it, the strainer comes out just like that. It's very, very simple and easy. Once the strainer is out, you can just take the nut out and the whole unit, just pull it out. It's, it's, it's very simple as you can see in the pictures. Once you open your garbage box, you'll find this assembly in there. Just unassemble everything and it looks something like this. Buy plumber's putty uh, from Home Depot or Lowe's anywhere and then start rolling the plumber's putty. It goes in the piece which is going to actually sit in that slot in the sink. Make sure you roll it properly and then press the in-sink crater part in that hole. Next, the upper mounting plate goes from under the sink. You put it the snap ring on top of it. Remember, you may have to pull snap ring a little hard to stick it in. And then finally, you put the lower mounting ring on the top, which has three screws on top there. As you start tightening the screw, you'll feel the unit is going towards the sink and is getting nice and tight. Make sure it's tight enough. Next, it's time for garburetor unit actually to go in. It, you push it up, it turns and clicks in place. It basically sits in the groove of the lower mounting ring, but when it sits, you'll have to actually tighten it using the tools provided in the garburetor box. So at the end, it should look like this, nice and tight. So now it's time to cut the piping which we took out earlier and adjust it according to the requirements. So basically, I took the measurement. I'm cutting the pipes as required. This white pipe is actually provided in the garburetor box. Again, I'm measuring it and I'm cutting it as you can see and taking it back to the unit. And basically, this sits in that black hole from where the garburetor is actually going to push all the food waste out. So here you can see the black pipe is back in place after tightening the slip nut and the white pipe is clipped onto the garburetor. So I got this coupler so basically the white pipe would fit into the black old pipe. Uh, so that way the unit is nice and straight and there's no leaks. I also use some plumber's glue around the pipe to make sure there's no leaks. Now we start with electrical stuff by opening the small plate under the garburetor and you pull all the cables out from in there. It's pretty easy. You can see it right there. So I have taken the electrical from the dishwasher which I have very close to my sink and I use this cable to run from the from under my dishwasher which I pulled from the hole behind and it came in right in this unit which I installed again this all thing which I got from um, Home Depot it's very easy to install this so the black live cable and the black cable from the garburetor goes on the switch screws and both the white cables were joined together this picture shows the output of the dishwasher connected to the garburetor on top of that white pipe that's a little cream pipe Basically, the outlet of the dishwasher is going to go through the garburetor in the drain. This rubber piece basically sits in the sink right there to make sure that the food particle doesn't jump back out. Uh, and that's it. We are actually done. Um, and I would just take around the putty out from, from the in-sink creator's trainer basket. And that's it. We are ready to use our garbage disposal unit. Have fun, guys.